Hey, space enthusiast, welcome back to Guest Quest. Today, Rod and I are about to embark on an out of this world adventure as we journey to the stars and explore an incredible marvel that orbits our planet. That's right, Rebecca. Get ready for a journey that will take you to the ultimate space destination, where science, technology, and exploration come together in the most remarkable way. So hold on tight as we blast off into a galaxy of mind-boggling facts and cosmic wonders. But first, let's try a little bit of... Guess Quest Light. That's right. Step right up, step right up. In here, I'll give you three clues for this little warm-up sesh that we're going to do before our main story. Don't worry. It all comes together. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. And let the clock begin now. This famous character was inspired by a real-life astronaut. Any guesses yet? Nope. Okay. The second clue is he was also based on a G.I. Joe character. Any guesses? Hmm. No, I still don't know. First introduced in the film Toy Story in 1995. His catchphrase? Oh, I know. To infinity and beyond. It's Mr. Potato Head. It is not Mr. Potato Head. Oh. But you were close, close, yeah. It's actually... Buzz Lightyear. Oh, that's right. Buzz Lightyear. Yes, that's right. And he was named after Buzz Aldrin, if I'm right. Ah, awesome. Okay, now on to Guest Quest. Here we go. Our journey begins with an international partnership of five space agencies from 15 countries operating this space marvel. Can you believe that, Rebecca? A global teamwork up there in the stars. Well, you know what they say, teamwork makes the dream work. But seriously, this extraordinary place has been continuously occupied since November 2000. It's like a space home away from home for astronauts from around the world. Houston Dragon, I'm v duct installation complete. Go for IMV fan activation. Houston copies, we'll put that in work. And guess what? An international crew of seven people live and work in this remarkable spacecraft zooming at an astonishing speed of five miles per second. Imagine that orbiting the Earth about every 90 minutes. That's faster than a roller coaster, but not as fast as my dog when I ask her what's in her mouth. <laughs> but that speed is truly mind-blowing. That means they witnessed 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets in just 24 hours. <laughs> wow. Now let's talk about Peggy Whitson, an aspiring astronaut who set the U.S. record for spending the most amount of time in space. On September 2nd, 2017, her record reached a whopping 665 days. Peggy is truly an interstellar superstar. You know what? They should make a Barbie based on her, if they haven't already. Full circle moment! And speaking of stars... Did you know that the spacecraft is powered by an acre of solar panels? That means you can spot it flying over your home during dawn or dusk. Can you believe that living space aboard this remarkable spacecraft is larger than a six-bedroom house? They've got everything, from sleeping quarters and bathrooms to a gym to a 360-degree bay window. the next episode of Solar Properties on Generic Home Improvement Television. We've got three out-of-this-world friends in search of their new home. First, we have William Shepard, former Navy SEAL and Congressional Space Medal of Honor winner. A couple million pounds of rocket, all ready to go fly in space. Next, we have Sergei Krikalov, Russian mechanical engineer and former head of the Yuri Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center. Well, a great deal came to mind. The main thought I had was, it's starting for real. And last but not least, we have Yuri Gudzinko, Russian cosmonaut and the deputy chief of the Cosmonaut Training Center, TSPK. Two, one, engines full power, and liftoff. 
and their budget is $150 billion. Is that all in? That is. That is their entire budget, including repairs and renovations. They're looking for a spacious home. Uh Uh-huh. At least the size of a six-bedroom house. Yeah. Indoor gym, solar panels, and bay windows that offer 360-degree views are a must. Nice to haves are an ocean view, limited light pollution, and wide open space. Can they find their spatial dream home? Huh? On the next episode of Solar Properties on Generic Home Improvement Television. Disclaimer, not a real show. Are you ready for another cosmic fact? I am indeed. To keep their muscles and bones healthy and microgravity, astronauts work out for at least two hours every day. Now that is some serious dedication. Astronauts and cosmonauts regularly conduct spacewalks for spacecraft construction, maintenance, and upgrades. Imagine floating in space, fixing stuff. Fixing stuff! And hold on to your space helmets, folks. Because this spacecraft's solar array wingspan is longer than the world's largest passenger aircraft. Talk about impressive engineering. Now, here's a fun one. Did you know this spacecraft's large modules and pieces were delivered on 42 assembly flights? The teamwork and technology behind it are out of this world. 42? Wow, just like the meaning of life. Yes. Yes. And guess what? This spacecraft orbits Earth, allowing astronauts to take millions of images of our beautiful planet from up there. Wow. Put the towel on. Our journey's almost over. Have you guessed what object we're talking about? The answer is... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Drum roll, please. The International Space Station, a spacecraft that is a symbol of human innovation, unity, and exploration. And a fun fact, my dad worked on pieces of the International Space Station. Well, dear listeners, remember to keep your eyes on the stars and never stop dreaming of reaching new heights, just like the International Space Station does every day. Keep exploring, keep guessing, and keep being the awesome kid, grown kid, adult, small child, infant, or formative life form that you are. Remember, curiosity is the key to unlocking new adventures and knowledge. And get excited about the wonders that await in our next episode. Don't forget to head over to our website and download the accompanying printables. They are excellent resources for parents, teachers, kids, or anyone that enjoys coloring. Uh Uh-oh. Rod, you better come over and look what I found. What? What is it? Hmm? The electron generator is down again. What what are you talking about? What are you talking about? With our homeowners already being at their max budget, we are going to have to find the money to fix this. Oh, I'm spacewalking over here. Maybe we can find the money by cutting out on the landscaping. It'll have to do. Until then, the crew will need to rely on the onboard oxygen. This is going to put us behind schedule. Ah, mamma mia. Over budget, but safely, is our first priority. Let's get started. Pretty sure Mario was a plumber, not an electrician. I don't know. I've seen him in space, doing space stuff. Okay. Final fun fact. The electron generator was actually fixed on the International Space Station in 2004, and again in 2005. Mamma mia! Fix and stop!